about the most unexpected combinations of things has entered the chat. <laughs> so, I saw quite a few memes in the monkeys fandom pertaining to this, not realizing there was something that actually sparked it off that was real. I saw all of these photoshops of Mickey Dolan sings Rush, Mickey Dolan sings that, and like just insert any random band names as you go. I figured it was because a few years ago he did that Dolan Sings Nesmith album that was like the tribute to Michael Nesmith. Um, did not realize that there's another one that he's putting out in November. Dolan Sings R.E.M. If you had just told me that title, I would have been certain it was a joke. <laughs> I would have been certain that was photoshopped, it's fake, there ain't no way in hell that that's real, because why? <laughs> but apparently it's real, and I, I don't know why, but it is, and it's happening. Don't know if this is the start of a series of different ones he's doing like that, I mean, if he is, it could be fun, like, not gonna lie, but I just was not expecting... R.E.M.? Of all things? <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, I guess that's a thing. Apparently Christian Nesmith is helping produce it, and is why at some point he asked what people's favorite R.E.M. song was. I don't listen to R.E.M., I have no dog in this fight! I don't know their material! I... Yeah, so I it didn't even register that it might have any kind of a blip on a monkey related anything radar <laughs> like I just I feel like I recall seeing that post but it didn't dawn on me that it was for a thing I thought it was just like a random post just to get conversation going or something no it was for this I don't know what the rest of the track listing looks like but the music video for shiny happy people is out now that's a thing that's a thing and again if you had just told me that on its own Pretty sure I thought it would have been a joke. I think I even saw it on Facebook several times and still thought it was a joke until I saw somebody post the link to it and I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> no, there ain't no way. It's gotta just be like a slideshow to like the normal song, right? No, it's real. I still don't understand why though. <laughs> it's like the most random thing on earth. It's not bad, okay? I watched the video, and now it's on Spotify too. I even listened to it without the video by listening to it on there as well to see if it hit different. And I mean, it's not bad. Let me just throw that out of, straight out of the gates. But I am also saying that from the point of view of somebody who has never listened to R.E.M., does not know their music, does not care to learn their music, but I will still probably give this album a shot when it comes out. But that means I am listening to this from the point of view of somebody who has never heard the originals. I am only hearing Mickey's renditions and going from there. Could I go out of my way and listen to the originals? Yeah. Am I going to? Hell no. But like, I have no interest, but... So basically, this cover comes off sounding like it could have been an outtake, or not an outtake, um, like an unreleased track from Good Times. It sounds like that same vibe, the same type of instrumentation, same feel. It's just like the Good Times album. Like, there's several tracks on there that it makes me think of immediately. And about the only thing I can think of that would be any kind of connection between R.E.M., and the monkeys is, didn't Michael Stipe have something to do with something on the Good Times album? I I swear I remember that name being one of the like laundry list of names of people that went into the production of that album. Am I tripping? Am I imagining that? Maybe. Could I Google it? Yeah, am I going to? No. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm, I'm not doing that. But <laughs> I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments if I'm right or not. But regardless, um... Yeah, so I feel like that's the only connection, and that could be why it feels like something from that particular album. And I really enjoyed that album, so I mean, if the rest of this sounds like that, I mean, seems like it could be a pretty good album. Have I even ever listened to all of Dolan Sings Nesmith? No. 
Because frankly, when it comes to Solo Mickey, I'm, I'm not... Uh, if I have, <laughs> this is gonna come off wrong, just like it does every time I say it, because I always get some asshole in the comments going, I didn't know you hated Mickey Dolan! So that is an actual, actual comment I got from one dude who took it way too personally that I said, if I had to put them in order, somebody has to come in last favorite. I'm not saying I hate him, I'm not saying I dislike him, but somebody has to come in last. That's just how it works. For me, that somebody happens to be Mickey is the least favorite. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm not saying that I don't like him, I'm just saying he comes in last place if I have to rank the four. But, um, so yeah, there's a lot of his solo career that I just... I've either heard it like once or not at all. So, it's like, eh. But the Good Times album, I liked that. I like his contributions to the monkeys, so I mean, if this sounds like that, then okay, I'll at least give this a shot. And this does sound like that, at least this one track. The rest of it doesn't come out till November, I don't know if they'll drop a second track as a tidbit between now and I don't know, uh, the video for this one is kind of interesting to watch because it's all like home video clips I don't think have ever been seen before by fans. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, I probably am wrong. I usually am, but as far as I know, there are unseen home video clips from like his childhood of him, of his sisters, of his mom, of his dad. It's kind of cool. And some of them go up to like 60s, like Monkey's era of just him. None of the rest of the band, mind you, just him. Um, just kind of living life, being happy, as is the vibe of the song, like, <laughs> it fits. Uh, it's kind of just like a cool little time capsule piece, honestly. And it's, it's an interesting watch, if nothing else, but yeah, like I said, it's not that it doesn't work. Again, saying that as somebody who does not know the original song. I'm sure I will also get R.E.M. fans in the comments going, Oh my god, how could you not know the original song? How could you listen to that without listening to the original? I really don't care. Not everyone has to listen to all the same things, and I'm not going to. But, that said, I will at least give this album a shot. Th that's about the most I'll do with that, because it just... Otherwise, it's not on my radar. Don't really care to, so not going to. But yeah, it just, I was surprised because I think I have in fact heard that particular song somewhere. It was one of those songs where like, you know it from just being in pop culture relevance, but I didn't know who did it or anything, I think. Or I'm mixing it up with something similar, but I feel like I have at least once heard the original somewhere, but I don't think I could tell you anything specific about it. I don't feel like I remember what it sounded like or anything, but... I know that it gets referenced in pop culture a lot, <laughs> um, but yeah, so just as somebody who does not know the source material, I enjoyed this track, but that might be why, because I don't know the source material. There might be REM fans out there who heard this and are freaking pissed. I don't know. I don't know. But it seems like I've mostly seen positive feedback on this, so maybe maybe they're not mad about it. Hopefully they're not mad about it. But I mean, it's just hard to know. Covers are always a very nuanced thing. Um, some people love them. Some people hate them. Some people fit in both camps, just not at the same time on different things. It's a case by case basis. Hello, that's me. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed so weird and so unexpected. Like of all the things, of all the cover albums he could have done. R.E.M., huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, I mean, you do you. Um, it just seemed very, very random, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, again, I'm kind of hoping maybe it's like the start of him doing like a series of these, because I, I think it could be an interesting thing if he made that like his new thing he does. It's just like, Dolan sings, fill in the blank with whoever. Um, that could be interesting, I think. But yeah, anyway. Those are my two thoughts on it. Because I know a few people have already asked me, Did you see that video yet? Yes. And those were my thoughts on it. I don't have a whole lot of input. Again, it's hard to have input when it's a cover of a thing that you have no point of reference from. So I'm literally only coming from the vantage point of being able to judge it on its own merit, not against the original. So, anyway, 
that's it for this one guys so as usual you know what to do uh if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload leave comments down below make sure you're following my social media accounts my facebook fan page my twitter my instagram my ebay my reddits everything and more is all down below and if you like what i do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it the donation link as always is down in the description anyway guys till next time see ya